Welcome back for another XRP price prediction analysis and in this video I will be sharing my next price targets here on the XRP chart give you a chart pattern that we have been trading within that could possibly give us a massive breakout to the upper side and maybe XRP might see a break above the $1 mark in the next coming hours or maybe days and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and at the time of this recording xrp is holding above the 20 day ma here on the four hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up we have also continued to trade within this ascending channel which has been well respected giving us more than three touch points and I'm expecting that soon XRP is going to gain a lot of volatility, continue gearing up and see a breakout of this chart pattern to the upper side and possibly give us a break above the high that we made at around the $0.95 mark the day we had some positive news that XRP is not a security. So that is what I'm expecting on the short term, basing it on this chart pattern over here and a breakout out of this and a break above that significant high. Then XRP can be able to get above the $1 mark. XRP has also continued to obey the ADO12 structures. And if I zoom out here on the 4 hour chart to give you my ADO12 analysis, basing it on the ADO12 structures, you can see that after seeing our December lows, we have been gearing up where we have now picked in the formation of this wave 1, seen a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2, fully maximizing minimum target areas, so a reaction of the minimum target areas and started gearing up impulsively in the formation of this wave 3. And the minimum target areas for the third wave, which I can give you by connecting the trend-based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high, of that wave one, then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave. You can see the minimum target area at the fib level 1.618 at around the $0.86449 mark, which is an area that we have now fully maximized. And this wave three also played out fully the day when we had that positive news that XRP is not a security anymore. And after we fully maximized our minimum target areas and also got the high for that with three, we have been seeing a bit of a corrective structure here on the charts in what I've been terming as the formation of this wave four. And using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the second wave to the high of the third wave, I got a minimum target area for the second wave. That is the fourth wave between the Fib level 0.382 in the FIB level 0 0.5, which is the area between the $0.7414 mark and the $0.6798 mark, which is an area that we have now almost fully maximized. And soon I'm expecting XRP to give us a reaction of that target area and start gearing up impulsively in the formation of that with 5 and giving you minimum target areas for the fifth wave to the upper side using a trend-based Fibonacci, connecting it from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that wave one, then dragging the Fibs to the high of that wave three, I get a minimum target area at the Fib level 0 0.618, and that is at around the $1.12415 mark. And that is the minimum that we can expect XRP to do in the formation of that wave five. So that is what I'm expecting on the short term. And in case we also have some more positive news, uh, basing it that is on the case for the XRP case, there are high chances that we are going to see a break above the $1 mark very soon. Jumping to the daily chart to also give you my long term analysis where I'm expecting that XRP could see a break above the $3 mark. You can see that after seeing our lows in 2020, that is at around the $0.15194 mark. We picked impulsively in the formation of that with one, giving us a high at around the $1.95 mark, completing the formation of these larger 8 count one. 
Then we started a breakdown move in the formation of a larger AD12 count 2 where we have been breaking down in this ABC corrective structure and there are high chances that we now have a low in place for the second wave and soon we are going to start gearing up impulsively in the formation of this wave 3 and giving you target areas for the third wave by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave I have a minimum target area for the third wave at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 3.26288 dollar mark and that is the minimum that you can expect that third wave to the upper side to do and that is what I'm expecting on the short term and also on the long term also taking a look at the indicators here on the RSI we are trading at around the 72 mark also taking a look at the MACD, we have been able to print a bullish cross fully supporting higher prices so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i will be keeping you updated